The Timberwolves clearly know how to dress. Getting off the bus earlier on, hoping to secure a win away from home. Welcome, everybody, to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The two towering figures inside for him, Towns and Gobert. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. And it's Conley in at the point. And for the Heat, the forward spots will be Butler and Martin. Backcourt guards are Lowry and Hero. And it's Autobio in at the five. Well, here we are. you got to love game one of the season, right, Steve? No other feeling like it. Starting a brand new year, there's so much excitement around the league right now. I love it, Kevin, especially for the fans. They have been waiting for this moment. The energy inside here is amazing. Now here is Conley. And they call an illegal screen here. That's, green. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. So it's Miami now. Now Lowry pass to Autobio. Back to Lowry. Outside Hero. Great tee that time from Edwards. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Year in and year out, Smitty, the Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Kevin, the Miami Heat has a strong culture, and they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. It's led to a great deal of success. A break even by modern big man standards. Carl Anthony Towns can really shoot the three. Yeah, and the only center to win a three-point shooting contest. Towns has developed a terrific stroke, and he just shoots the ball as well as most of the What's guards up? in our league. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Now, Hero, six on the shot clock. The shot, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Here's Towns. That shot off the mark. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Butler attacking. And for Jimmy Butler. He's the type of player we know, Steve, that fills in the gaps wherever his team needs it. Kevin, he's often the top scorer, defender, and playmaker for his team. His desire to win is unmatched. Jimmy Butler might be the most overlooked superstar in this league. And the first one drops. One thing I love about Jimmy Butler and his defense, he works the passing lanes. He'll make a play on the defensive end that leads straight to points. And so Butler nails both of them. So when we're talking about team identity, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough-nosed, aggressive, and hard-working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. Such a disruptive defender. It's got to be irritating to go up against Jimmy Butler. Gobert against Adebayo. 
dishes it to Lowry. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. Edwards passes to McDaniels. Conley scanning the floor. McDaniels in the post. Defended by Butler. Tries it from 19. Count it. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here is Mark. Outside hero. Lowry from outside. Rebound Minnesota. This game against Miami here, their first look at the Heat. An interconference matchup. Last season, they went 2-0 against this club. McDaniels in the post. He's against Martin. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. And after defending on the shot, he doesn't give up on the play. Follow that straight to the glass for the rebound. McDaniels kicks to Edwards. Conley the pass to Towns. And here is McDaniels. Conley with the three. Hits it from three-point range. And Mike Conley can do this now. He can play off the ball and punish the defense for giving him space. Hero passes to Autobio. Now the dish to Lowry. The shot comes out. Good work defensively by Conley. For the Heat, their last game a loss to the Rockets in Houston. Gobert finds Edwards. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And don't let Edwards' position fool you. Anthony is built like a linebacker. That upper body strength helps him down low. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Just four seconds left in the first quarter. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. The key there defensively, don't allow anything easy. Josh plays with good physicality and energy. And so it's Minnesota with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be back with you shortly. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what do you guys think about Minnesota here in this one? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also keeping them out of sync. And so Lowry will bring it up for Miami. They trail by six. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Duncan Robinson out there with Kevin Love. Then it's Thomas Bryant. Then there's Richardson. And it's Lowry in at the one. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. Now here is Robinson. Anthony Edwards unable to get his last shot to go in. Robinson up again. Anthony Edwards with the rebound. Minnesota leading by six. Milton's shot is good. Milton's got his first basket. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Milton against Lowry. Robinson for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. On the wing, Milton. Now recovering. Milton kicks to Anderson. Back to Milton. Over Lowry. A shot by Milton, no good. 
can't fault the play call even though he couldn't convert that's a good shot Richardson against Edwards Richardson the pass to Lowry shot clock at five and Love has it in the corner and again it's the Heat missing so for the Heat the last game a loss to the Rockets right side Edwards over Lowry no good on the shot a bit long that time Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Got a piece of it. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, heat culture seems to be a cliche, but it's not. Jimmy Butler says we never time out, time lost out. confidence in this group, in ourselves. We know what we're capable of. We just have to go out and prove it. We're not worried about anybody else, just the guys in our locker room and coaching staff, ownership, management. Back to you guys. Boy, David, aren't they locked in? There's something else. Thank you. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. And a new group in for the Heat. Autobio is checked in for Thomas Bryant. Martin comes in for Kevin Love. Butler, he's checked in for Robinson. And Hero subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Anderson. McDaniels, he's checked in for Edwards. And it's Conley in for Shake Milton. The Heat trail by 10. Richardson right side. Outside, Mark. The pass to Autobio. Miami no good on that time either. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Brown feeling out of it. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago. 87% from the line. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. GA, the three-point shooting for Miami has been the story. Sometimes they run cold, like a lot of teams. Man, when they're hot, they are fun to watch. A couple years back, Kevin, they led the league in percentage from long distance. Last season, one of the worst in that category until the playoffs, where they rediscovered that shooting touch. And he sinks the second. Here's Hero. Still scoreless. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Down low. Martin inside. Towns on him. And Butler, here we go. Five to shoot. They could use a bucket. And it's Butler with the jam. Jimmy Butler doesn't need a play call for him to make an impact. He's willing to do the dirty work. The 11-footer misses off the right iron. 
Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Here's Martin. And good defense from Towns. He's a big-time shot blocker, and that reputation can scare shooters. And so it's Minnesota in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. So stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. Let's see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It's Minnesota out in front at the half. They have a nine-point lead. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? The difference in the game to me is they're playing with tremendous effort on the defensive end. Everyone seems engaged. You can hear them communicating with one another. Coach has gotten these guys to buy in. Great job. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Whatever they're trying to do on offense, it ain't working. If they have any chance of coming back in this one, they're going to have to be more methodical in their approach. Talent without discipline will never result in sustained success. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's McDaniels in at the small forward position. Hero on the wing. Pass to Autobio. Back to Hero. Six to shoot. Over Edwards. Autobio. Autobio on the follow. Autobio's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Heat. This is what they count on Bam for, ensuring the play gets finished. Pass to Gobert. Here's McDaniels. From outside, off the mark. And it's Lowry with the ball, brings it up for the Heat. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Now here is Conley. To the wing on the left. Here's McDaniels. Timberwolves keep it alive. Go bear. And they pick up two. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. This is what Gobert provides. High impact play on the glass. Lowry finds Martin. Here's Adebayo. Gobert with the block. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Here's McDaniels. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. Butler attacking outside for Martin. The Heat need to get a shot off. There's Hero with a three. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. And throughout his career, Steve, as we know, Tyler Hero has never been shy of the big moment. He loves it. He thrives in games that are tight at the end. His great off-ball movement allows him to find looks, Kevin. Hero isn't afraid of stepping up 
with the game on the line. And at a certain point, you just have to look to someone else to score for you. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Timeout, timeout. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. And Smitty, what's the intangible that really sets Kyle Lowry apart from the others? GA, his toughness, it's elite. You look at his size, but he plays bigger than his size. He can do things physically that most guards can't. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Kyle Anderson comes in for McDaniels. Troy Brown's checked in for Edwards. And it's Jake Milton in for Mike Conley. Now here's Milton. Takes the three. No good there. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Outside for Lowry. Here's Jaquez, pass to Love. And the layup's good off the glass. And now just a five-point Timberwolves lead. This is the one thing you can count on from Kevin Love. He's going to stay active in the lane. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Outside for Robinson. To the inside. He dishes it to Lowry. Shoots. No good. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Timberwolves lead by five. Live from Miami, you're watching 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Am Adebayo is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Hero into the one spot. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Reed misses. The Heat trail by five. Hero kicks to Love. And the pass to Robinson. Let's it go with a three. Minnesota with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. That's game four of four out on the road for them. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for the Heat. With the putback. And Butler with the second chance points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Anderson outside. Kicks it to Towns. Fires from deep. 
The Timberwolves again can hit. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Butler, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The physicality of Jimmy Butler poses so many issues for defenders. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the Heat with some changes. Kayla Martin comes in for Kevin Love. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Robinson. McDaniels, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so Butler nails both of them. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Minnesota calls timeout. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. Now, with the game in the balance, he had some encouraging words for his team. He said, this is what we wanted. We thought if we kept it close, we could pull it out. Now let's go out there and do just that. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Now here is Conley. Back to Anderson. And the rebound goes to Martin. For Miami, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Lowry. Lays it up off the glass. Lowry's got the lead up to one now for Miami. What a move by Lowry. He can create shots with his handles. Pass to McDaniels. Now here's Towns. Outside Edwards. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Heat have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Butler attacking. And that one is good. And now it's a three-point Miami lead. You need a big basket, you turn to Jimmy Butler. He's the first option in their offense. Here's Edwards. And out of fire, sends it back. Into the lane. Lowry dishes to Butler. Rebound, Minnesota. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And this is why he's a go-to option. Towns enjoys getting the chance to come up big for his team. Butler. Tries again. It falls! Big-time basket at a big-time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Oh, here's Edwards. Looking to end his cold spell. Yes! And that shot brings them to within just one. Unreal. Big Cat, one of the game's great scorers, also deadly in the clutch. 
Outside for Morton. Passes it to Autobahn. It's rebounded by Towns. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Seven second difference. Shot and game clock. Outside Edward. From the arc. Nails the tray. Time out, time out. Such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by two. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Edwards. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. Butler with the ball. the win oh that shot had a chance but no good so it's Minnesota taking the W in a close one this win such a tremendous emotional boost for him really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building it's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline David take it away Thanks very much. Rudy, what did the bench do to help you get this win tonight? They've been huge. You know, they, they brought us back in the game, and uh, everyone contributed. You know, it wasn't an easy night for us at the beginning, but uh, we kept fighting, and uh, it's a big win for us. And I'm sure you want to keep it going, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.